hello everyone so today we are going to work on an option to enable and disable friendly fire so if i enable friendly fire let me simulate this simulate the game so if when these two fight two teams are involved in a fight if some character comes in between let's say a yellow guy is shooting a red guy and this guy is getting hit from if one yellow guy come in between uh, another yellow guy and his target he will get hit basically friendly fire so it's actually hard to see an example here um, let's see okay this guy might get hit see this guy sometimes get hit from this character because he was in between this red character and him so yeah we can easily test that with the player character this is my player character and player's team is zero and this guy's team is also zero and i have enabled friendly fire so even though we are in the same team i will be able to shoot him and kill him see headshot but if i disable friendly fire even though i shoot him he is not dying see so this is the feature we are going to work on today <laughs> and one more thing if the teams are different let me make this guy belongs to team one even though i have enabled friendly fire he will not get hit he will get hit so he shot me i shot him okay so let's see how to implement this today so in this battle system we have implemented if you observe closely you might notice that uh, the friendly fire is enabled uh, that means when a yellow uh, when someone from the yellow team shoot at a red one if another yellow one is in the middle he will get shot too and uh, uh, let's see if we can see something like that in this demonstration yeah see this guy got hit from one of these characters so let's see how to prevent that today actually uh let's implement that as a toggle so that if we want to enable friendly fire we can keep it or we can disable it so later on when we have a menu uh we can allow player to choose it or not but at least for ai so i think it should be permanently disabled so right so first let me open a gun blueprint pp guns and so uh, this on bullet hit function this is where we have implemented bullet damage and we have implemented it through bpi damageable so this is implemented in whatever the hit target and for the character i should have implemented it in this base character i think let's see damageable on bullet hit uh yeah so no actually i haven't ever implemented it in the base character because we don't have a body or anything to get hit i think that should be the reason so i must have implemented it in this ALS anime and character blueprint so let's check on bullet hit right this is the function on bullet hit and so here uh, let's add another boolean variable 
called something like friendly fire enabled and we should be added let's add it in under character properties By default, I'll leave it as false. So if it is true, uh, even friendlies can hate each other. Mm. Right. Now here, we can access friendly fire enabled. If this is true, we can just call it call the we can just continue the rest of the part uh, let me collapse this now to a macro because we might need this in other places so friendly fire check so friendly fire is if the friendly fire is not enabled what we have to do is oh we need a reference to the shooter but did i implement it again yeah so we need a reference to the shooter this is an actor, so we need an actor input here. Shoot. Actor. Object reference. And let's connect it. We can... Uh, we can check if this actor is an enemy using is enemy interface through this clm API character and our team number is team team id we can access team id directly because we are in the character class so if this is true if that means if the opponent who were the character who hit us is an enemy we are allowed to get hit otherwise we should not so i'll add a name here can hit can't hit right now here uh, if we can't it actually we don't need to connect this anywhere so now to easily test this uh, uh, where is the player character right here now I'll add one of these characters I'll move one of these characters over here Player's team number is 0. This guy's team number is 1. So if I make it 0, we play instead of simulating. We can see the blood particle, but the character is not getting damaged. It's not even reacting. Oh, he's shooting this guy, and I can still shoot and kill him. Right. So, if I make the team ID one, now I can kill him. See? Okay. So the friendly fire system is working. Cool. And another thing, if uh, let's let me make them again in the same team and now if i shoot he don't 
get he don't get damaged but let me make this friendly fire enabled true then even though we are in the same team this guy get hit and killed all right so whenever you have a user interface so to enable or disable this friendly fire you can connect this variable with those settings and enable this option or disable this option as you wish all right so i'm gonna stop this episode right here and we can use this uh, one more thing we can use this same friendly fire check to determine like fire hits explosion hits all other types of damages as well yeah, and i'm gonna stop this episode right here if you would like to support my work you can get the membership of the patron club and the project files will be available here for the download link would be in the description see you in another episode goodbye